Okay, so this video is not going to be edited. It's going to be very raw. It's going to be very uncut. No intro, no outro. Tekken 7 is going to be released June the 2nd. I think globally, worldwide, it's going to be June the 2nd. Uh, they've been saying that Eliza is going to be a free bonus for the pre-order. They've also said that there's going to be a character, well, I don't know if it's a character pass or a season pass. Now, I've been getting tweets now. I think a lot of people tweeted me like, "Raw, what the hell? Da, 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 da. I was right. I did say June. I was right again. I did say summer. I said summer, June. People were like, oh, no, it's going to be March. No, it's going to be March. Listen, just hear it, hear it out properly. How could it be March if we're near the end of the month, January, and there's no cover art? There's nothing going on. How could it be March? you got to think to yourself. Now, there's a couple things I'm going to tackle. I'm going to, I'm going to tackle the season pass, which is, I think is a good idea, a very good idea. I'm also going to tackle the fact that I'm not... I'm excited to an extent. I'm ex excited to an extent. So, Eliza being a free pre-order bonus, it makes sense because they're going to cut off the service of Tekken Revolution in March the 21st, I think. I don't know the correct date, but they're going to cut off the Tekken Revolution service. So, that means you ain't going to be able to get Eliza anymore. You ain't going to be able to play the game. The service is going to be cut. It's not going to be free to play. The game is done. Graveyard, rest in peace. Sick. But then, the thing is, is that cool you've got eliza as a bonus pre-order bonus but it's like i just don't know if that character even is a, like a really attacking character but then again you have akuma that does projectiles eliza does projectiles too fair enough throw in there if you want um season pass season pass is a very very good idea and season pass is like what every game has call of duty has it uh street fighter has implemented it into into the game as well like Instead of making loads of different alterations of the game, so like, you know, Street Fighter 4 had Ultra Street Fighter, Arcade Edition and stuff like that. You now have Tekken 7 that's going to have a season pass. So maybe downloadable stages, uh, downloadable content, um, new characters. You can, you can always update the game. The way how they've been doing it, like for the two years, remember the game is like two years old. So the way how they've been doing it from before, they had the game in the arcade and they kept on doing time release on the characters. Now, yeah, that's good and all, but you shouldn't do it for the arcade. Um, reason being is because there's people there globally that are waiting for your game. Do you know what I mean? People are waiting for your game and you've just released it in Asia for the arcade, for the arcade community, which... I know it sounds mad me saying it, but the arcade, the arcade community and the arcade, all of that stuff, that is like 1970s, 1980s, 90s, even if you wanna, if you wanna put it like that. And the reason why I say that is because no one plays arcades anymore. You have online. You never had fiber optic and all of these stuff broadband back then. You had dial-up where you heard the ring noise, the ring noise, and you couldn't use your mo not even mobile. You couldn't even use your telephone while you're using internet. Now we have certain things where people are able to have good connection and play each other online. But you still went through the arcade route, which I don't know if this is how it works, but I generally feel like they release a version of Tekken, they put in the arcade, they make the money back through people putting their, their, their money in. And then the money generated from the arcade, they, they use that to make the console version, which is what is my understanding of why they do it. Now, that's cool and all, but Street Fighter Five never done that. And, yeah, you can argue and say Street Fighter Five, oh, uh, yeah, it had a... It's, it's, it's not been that great because of the way how the game is, online matches and rage quitting and all of this stuff. You can say all of that. That's cool. I understand it. I respect what you guys are saying. But having a game out for two years and, you know people in different countries have played it but you haven't i think that's taken a bit of the piss if i'm honest so okay so the like i was getting back to my point now so the season pass will have characters and stuff like that they can kind of release characters over time so i think it's a good thing i think it's a really good thing to kind of do that because then you could keep on updating your game uh, but how long they're gonna update their game i don't know because they had the wtf for tekken tag 2 and then all of a sudden it ended so I don't know how long the longevity of them upload um updating Tekken 7. They might just do it for like the first three months and decide that well hey well we don't have enough money for the project anymore or the first six months and say hey we ain't got enough money for the project anymore and then that's what's gonna cause a problem because people are gonna be like well 
I thought there's this, I thought this was a season pass. I thought this boy's gonna be lasting for a year. Do you know what I mean? So it's good. I kind of I kind of said something about a season pass in my previous video about it being uh, the Tekken Seven going esports. I kind of did say something about it being. So everything I'm saying is coming to light. Everything I'm saying is coming to light. Like I said, I said it was gonna be in June. I said that yeah, they should keep updating characters and stuff and updating content, having DLC. All of it's coming to light now, which is a good thing. They're starting to clock on, but it's a bit late. It's like two years, <laughs> like two years now. Two, but the game is going to be two and a half years. Yeah, the game's going to be like two and a half years or two and a quarter years old. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I've watched the trailer as well. The trailer looks good. Um, I see young young Kazuya and that, and yeah, it looks good. And I mean, young Kazuya, young Heiachi, yeah, it looks good. But, you know, you get to excitement where you really... Imagine, like, when, you know when you're hungry and you really want something to eat, but you've gone past that hunger stage and you just don't want nothing to eat anymore because you're just like, oh, whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's pretty much like that. Like, it's got to that stage now where I've seen so much Tekken 7. Um, we've had two evils where Tekken, 7's gonna, where Tekken 7's been there, but it's not been released out properly. We've had... It's been everywhere. But, you know... It is where it is. I feel like that's probably the reason why um, Harada tweeted that no, because Harada isn't the one. He's obviously I know he looks over the game and that, but he's not the one that's that designing the game and stuff like that. And I know it's it's not his fault. So anyone that's hurling abuse at Harada, don't do that. It's it's not his fault. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just the way how it goes, man. The game is gonna come out second of June. You know we got a lot of time, man. You know, uh, I don't know what you lot are going to do. I, I've got Street Fighter Five, um, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy when it brings DLC coming out. Um, doing a lot more product reviews and stuff. So I'm kind of productive in that stage. I'm just going to have to wait until the game comes out. It's June the 2nd. It's, yeah, it's not close. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not close. Like it would be nice if you could release like a little beta so we can play something at least. Where we, you've made the whole of EU like wait for this game for so long and it's like we only can play it at certain events and certain tournaments like really at least release a, like a beta or something like let us play something do you know what i mean that would be nice like i don't think anyone really remotely cares about eliza's life right now but if you release the beta that would be a bit nice maybe four characters five characters so we can actually get a feel of the game that would be great but you know again june the 2nd we have to wait and see I'll be I'll be providing tutorial um, character tutorials as well. I'll be providing a lot of help for people that are trying to get into Tekken, and yeah, like just keep on looking out for content on the channel, man. Like I don't really know what more to say to that, man. Like this video is just straight off. It's just straight raw. No intro, outro. There's no editing. It's just straight me recording, me talking, basically like a vlog, but without all that YouTube uh, cutting crap. Do you know what I mean? It's just literally. I just don't know what to say. Third, the second of June is it's a quite a bit away. That's pretty much going into half half of the year again. So, Panda Namco, if you're watching this, please just release a beta. Just release a lit something for just everyone to play. You know, because I do feel like I understand that you lot are kind of like really working towards this project and it's really taken time and that but if you lot wasn't working on the arcade version you lot was working strictly on console and released it globally to everyone this wouldn't have taken so long you're you're trying to update the arcade with art with console characters like miguel kuma panda and stuff and who's the other characters that are flipping recently being added nina um i don't even know but yeah all those characters that you've added in like, you shouldn't have added them to arcade. You should have literally just had the arcade version, Tekken 7, went straight onto the um, console version. The game would have been out by now. But you're trying to update the arcade version, then you try to do console. Yeah, it's just too much. Do you know what I mean? So, again, like I said, it's, it is where it is. June the 2nd, here we come. You're going to see me streaming a lot of it. I'll be back. I know you lot have been seeing me play Street Fighter and stuff like that. And you lot are like, raw, what's going on, King J? I just don't want to play Tag 2 no more. It's 2011. That's when the game came out. Yeah. It, it is where it is, isn't it? But yeah, June the 2nd, man. We just wait and see, man. You know, if you lot want activities to do, go to the gym, you know, do a bit of running, you know, stream stream other games, play other games. Don't think about it too much. If you lot think about it, you lot are going to end up getting crazy. But yeah, this is King J signing out. And obviously, if you lot like Tekken and stuff, this is the channel to subscribe to. Peace.